Welcome back to Computer Science at SSFS. So in our last video, if you remember that when we printed um, an object, we got a pretty unhelpful string that said that, yeah, we have an object and where it's located in memory. And for most users, that's probably not the most helpful information. So we are going to modify our class today so that it prints back something useful. And the way we're going to do that is with a special Python method called the string method. And you can see it starts with two underscores, str, and then two more underscores, and then self. This is a special method that's called whenever print is called on an object, or pr the print function is used on an object. If this is present, the print will return whatever the string method tells it. So we're going to use this to return some useful string information about our object. So probably it would be helpful to know whose account this is. So I'll return self.name and then maybe has a balance of and then self.balance. So it might be useful to find out how much um, of a fine they have. And because self.balance is a number, I have to convert it to a string. Otherwise, this concatenation operator won't work. So it's going to return the name plus has a balance of and then the balance. So let's go ahead and try to run this again and see if we get anything different. Ah, now it says when I print it, it returns that string I told it. Brian has a balance of zero. Okay, well, let's go ahead and add a fine of $3.75. Now when I print Brian, it has the balance on there. So you can see we can modify that string to be whatever we think is useful. If we wanted to show a list of books checked out, we could do that. We could say, um, let's do has checked, put a space in there, has checked out plus and I'm going to do a special instead of if I printed out just the list itself it would look kind of silly let's, let's just see what that looks like um, books checked out let's go back here and let's add a couple of books to my account check out we'll do Harry Potter again and then We'll check out Gone with the Wind. And let's print that instance of the object. Let's run it. Ah, I forgot to convert it. See, it says can't convert list to a string. So what I need to do is find some way to convert this list to a string. Well, there actually is a way to do that. It's called the join method. So I'm going to use quote, and then comma, because I want my list separated by commas. And I use dot join. And then I'll put that around my list. So I will use the comma dot join. This is called the separator. And whatever I want my list separated by would be in the quotation marks. And then I use the join method on this list. Let's go ahead and go back to my using account. Let's run this again. And it says, Brian has checked out Harry Potter, gone with the wind. So you can see we can modify this string method to return whatever we think is the most useful information back to the um, person using the account. So this has been the very briefest of looks at object-oriented programming. Using this style takes a lot of practice. Uh, we will be using it for a lot of this course and in the future. In the next set of videos, we're going to start looking at uh, Pygame, which is a very common Python game developing module, and we'll try to put some of this object-oriented programming into practice there as well.